Hi, and welcome to the Clever Clarinetist YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Larkin Sanders, and I will be your host, as I am indeed the owner of this shop. We're in my showroom today in Kansas City, Missouri, where I'm hoping lots more videos will be coming your way, both as equipment demos, as educational tools, and other good stuff, I am sure. Um, so just to take a little tour, since this is the first video ever, uh, we have all the little goods right here. We have Silverstein ligatures, Silverstein ambipoly reeds. I know they're a little bit hard to see there. We've got some Corbin bleh, bleh, uh, barrels by Brian Corbin, um, both traditional and the Focus Barrel, synthetic, and Grenadilla. We'll be doing a demo of these shortly. Stay tuned. Um, we also have some tools by Reed Geek. Um, and I am a big sticker person. You might know this guy from Clarinet Fest. If you picked up one of these at Clarinet Fest this summer, I made them. And you can buy more on my website. We've also got some other fun stickers, like something that all of our students should remember, right? Keep calm and practice scales. I know it's backwards, but you can do it. Okay, and some Shadowbell mouthpieces. Very good. Um, a little bit about me. Um, Actually, you can go to my website and learn more about me if you want to learn more about me. Um, but I can tell you a little bit about my equipment that I'm working with today. I am playing a Selmer Presence B-flat clarinet with a traditional Brian Corbin barrel in Grenadilla wood. I am playing on a Chevaville Elite F2 mouthpiece, um, a Silverstein Ami Poly Reed in strength three and a half, and of course, my ligature is a Silverstein Estro ligature in white gold. Um, if you are interested in trying some Selmer Celis Presence and Prologue clarinets, I gotcha. Yeah, there are lots of pretty horns in here. Lots of fun things, pretty things, and things that make us sound better. Okay, so for my brief trial, um, I will be playing through three different hexa ligatures. Um, the Estro Gold Ligature, the Cryo 4 Ligature, and the original Silverstein Ligature, plus my own um, Estro White Gold Ligature. It will be our control because we are scientists when we are trying equipment, and it's very important to be orderly about it. Um, I think that's all you need to know for now. Oh, I'm going to be playing a slurred 3 octave F major scale and a tongued F major 3 octave scale. <sighs> Silverstein Estro White Gold Ligature. I'm going to change quickly and carefully to the original Silverstein Ligature. You can see it's coated, um, sorry, plated in silver. It has five bands to hold on to the reed. Um, it's an A-frame ligature because it has this, yeah, there it is, A-shape. All the ligatures today are going to be A-frame ligatures. I'll try and move quickly, but I wanted this video to be totally live so that um, you guys know that I'm just like being surprised at every twist and turn of this ligature trial. Apparently it's also a tornado siren drill day. In Kansas City. Hooray. Okay, here we go. Silverstein, original A frame ligature. <laughs> clean and clear on this ligature as it was on mine and that is the thing we need to pay most attention to when we're trying out ligatures. 
not only our like our tone quality and our ability to soar over registers, that's why I'm doing a three octave scale, but also um, our articulation. The ligature makes a huge impact on the quality and cleanliness of your articulation. Um, so I still think this is a great ligature. Um, it's a great like introduction to Silverstein products, but doesn't give me as good of a sound as my Astro ligature does. So on that note, we're going to go to the Cryo 4 ligature in gold. You can see it's got these four sound beams on it. It has five strings that hold the reed into place. Um, and I think this is the ligature that pretty much put Silverstein on the map as like the, one of the premier ligature makers in the world. Um, so we'll see how it goes. By the way, if you have any thoughts or feedback or um, if you have a vote, if you have a ligature that you like the sound on best, um, please feel free to comment below. Um, and if you would like to set up a trial with me, please feel free to shoot me a message um, or visit my website, cleverclarinetist.com. All right, here we go. Cryo for ligature. <laughs> between the three ligatures I have played on so far, but I felt like my tongue got really clumsy. My articulation wasn't as clean as it was, um, especially on my own ligature. The Estro white like gold ligature. And speaking of Estro ligatures, I've got an Estro yellow gold ligature that I'm, ligature here that I'm gonna try next. It only has one sound bar on each side, um, with five strings in the back, just like the previous ligatures have had. All right. Those are on there. Here we go. similar and gets a very similar sound to my white gold ligature. Um, I think they're very comparable. And that again is the Silverstein yellow gold Astro ligature. So pretty. All right now we're moving on to the hexaline and the hexaline has three strings or sorry six strings. I can math um, and it has two sound beams on each side, just like the Cryo 4. Um, it's encrusted with some, some gems, so these are, these are like the blingingest ligatures you can get. Um, so we'll see how it sounds. articulated scale I have played so far and as far as the general sound quality definitely the clearest out of all um, the other three trial ligatures and my personal ligature um, that I've tried so far. This is the Hexa yellow gold ligature. All right the next ligature you have coming up this is brand the next two are brand spanking new. Um, I think they were just um, released to the public recently. So we have a rose gold hexa ligature. How pretty is that? I know rose gold is super hip right now. Um, so let's see if it sounds as good as it looks.
Alright. is my favorite out of everything I have tried so far. I might have to make a personal switch for myself. Um, I felt like I could really sail over the registers without any real issues. Um, and the articulation was crisp and clear and exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, so again, the rose gold ligature. Hexa. Rose gold hexa ligature. Alright, and the last ligature on trial today is the Silverstein Hexa ligature in black. Kind of sexy. If I can get my read to line up. I'm a professional. Okay. up until this one and this one like my articulation went back to being clumsy again um I just felt like I didn't have as much control over what was happening so it's still beautiful and the thing about these trials is that what works for me and what doesn't work for me is not necessarily going to be the case for you and you're going to have to try them yourself um so if you're curious about any of these please feel free to comment visit the website cleverclarinetist.com send me a message figure it out together. All right, and now we've been through all of the uh, trial ligatures, so we're going to go back to our control. We're going to be good scientists, and we're going back to my personal white gold uh, estro ligature. are the hexa ligatures in yellow gold and rose gold. I have to do a little bit more trialing with them to see which one I like better. I still like mine. Mine's probably number three up there, the white gold estro ligature. They're all great. Um, all I can say is try them out for yourself. Shoot me a message. Um, we'll set up a trial with you um, and see what we can do. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and um, Please come back to the channel more often or subscribe so that you get updated whenever we're uploading more uh, trial videos and demos and fun stuff. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.